Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nakula Mata from Aspire MDS. Today we will be discussing on how to prepare for MDS. Now this is the topic on which you would be getting many videos like how, how to prepare and when to prepare for MDS. But there is less content on why you should prepare for MDS. So first of all, I think that we should talk on that topic that why should we prepare for MDS and what are the perks of being an MDS doctor in India. So the first thing is that being an MDS doctor, there is definitely increase in your knowledge and your skills because this MDS is the highest academic degree in dentistry in India. So definitely it would be increasing your skills and knowledge to a greater extent. Secondly, being a specialist, you would be getting a good reputation in the society among your group of doctors and uh, even in your neighbors. Also being an MDS doctor, you would be more confident on yourself and the self-esteem would be definitely higher than a graduate doctor. One more thing, amongst your peer group, your ego would be satisfied once you are an MDS doctor. Looking on to the job part, if you are an MDS doctor, whenever you are going for a job, definitely you would be on a higher pay scale than the graduate doctors. And looking at the future perspective, obviously uh, looking at the uh, uh, current generation and the future generation, they would definitely know the difference between a graduate and a postgraduate and a general doctor and a specialist doctor. So looking at the 10 years after today or 15 years after today, there would be an era of dentistry in which only the specialization would be working. So looking at the future perspective in mind, definitely you should go for MDS. One more thing, if you are uh, cracking your NEET MDS exam and getting into a government dental college or a reputed uh, government institute, you would be getting a handsome amount of uh, stipend that would be definitely uh, a perk. It would be increasing your confidence and also your uh, attitude towards dentistry is changing. Also, you can mention your uh, degree or your college name on the boards once you are returning from your reputed uh, post-graduation college and the last point to show to everyone those who always tried to pull you down and who always thought that you would be doing nothing in your life so that is the one most motivational thing that I feel that why you should do why you should prepare for MDS so these were the various uh, aspects or reasons like why you should go for MDS or post-graduation in India now we'll talk about when should we start prepare for MDS and uh, the answer being internship obviously you as you are starting with your internship or rather I would say that uh, it starts the preparation itself starts with the final year only if you are reading standard textbooks and uh, keeping uh, all the clinical subjects and the concepts clear that would be definitely helping you for your post graduation preparation so the best time uh, time when we start for preparation is internship okay one thing what i would suggest to you is you should be focused on like when you are preparing for mds you should be focused that i have to be an mds doctor and i have to do specific uh, you, you should set your goal like you should be a uh, mds on a specific field from a specific college so you should not get distracted or um, demo uh, demotivated in the initial phase of preparation because nobody knows everything from the starting days they are definitely going to be difficult days so do not get demotivated do not get distracted by seeing others focus on your goal okay once you are prepared that you are going to be a post graduate doctor just focus on that part start your journey during the internship itself so as we know that internship is the only time when you can enjoy uh, we would say that initially you can have some time for fun and you can also enjoy your uh, actually extracurricular activities but apart from that being again on the focus after initial two or three months you should start preparing sincerely for your mds the part of the video comes like how should you prepare for mds now the preparation starts from the very first stage as we have already talked about initially it is very difficult to maintain the schedule so what i would say to you is initially start with two to uh, three hours daily in the very first week then from the second week you can increase it to four to six hours daily that should be your initial part of the preparation you should take any standard tech, uh, book mcq book for preparation or you can go through the aspire mds question banks to prepare but always always try to read the explanations of the mcqs as well do not only go for question and answers okay the explanations plays an important role 
to uh, clear your concepts also uh, always go for retrograde studies like do not go for textbook reading because as we know in final year we have eight subjects to read them also we have uh, less time so when you have only one year and preparing for 19 subjects would be obviously difficult if you go to the textbooks so what you can do is always go for retrograde studies start with the mcqs read the explanation part and whatever topic you feel that they are difficult you can definitely go into the text and read through the, those specific topics from standard textbooks one more important thing is preparing the previous year question papers at least 8 to 10 years uh, previous NEET and previous INICET papers are to be prepared. They are to be read thoroughly with explanations so that it give you, gives you the idea like what are the questions being asked, how are they framed and what are the favorite topics of examiners. Because once the uh, question has been asked, there are uh, more chances that from the nearby topic the questions would be again framed. Now, uh, taking out 5 to 6 hours daily with uh, being an intern it would be difficult but it should be tried that you are reading whenever you are getting time even in the free postings whenever you're getting time you can go through the online notes or, or the uh, text whatever you are having then gradually gradually you should uh, increase your preparation from 8 to 10 hours daily in which you can go for a single subject and a synopsis part or you can go for two subjects and the synopsis part or you can divide it as two subjects and one paper daily. That paper would be definitely being with explanation. Do not on any time read only questions and answers. Whenever you are reading MCQs, make a habit to solve them uh, by yourself. And if it is getting wrong, go through the explanations like why it is getting wrong. So the concepts would be getting clear right at the moment. One more trick that we can uh, use is to utilize this wall technique. Most of you would be knowing about what is the wall technique, but if you do not know, try to make sticky knots and stick on the walls. Like suppose you are reading for four to six hours, make a habit of making one sticky knot in one, like in every hour, whatever you are reading. So each hour comprising of one sticky knot, which includes eight to 10 important points. So overall daily, if you are reading for four to six hours, it would be uh, giving you about 40 to 60 high yielding points and you need to revise them on the uh, completion of your that day of studies okay and again when you're starting the next day go through those points and this technique is called as the wall technique you can just uh, go through the high yielding points and definitely it would be helping you at the end of your preparation now once the major part of the preparation has been done by this that is the uh, main mcq books or the question banks or uh, the previous year question papers, then you can jump into the fringe books. Fringe book, books that includes uh, the books like uh, Sharan, Jitendra Sharan for orthodontics, you have Prabhakar for perio, you have Muthu for pedodontics, you have MCQ books for uh, pharmacology as well as pathology by Dr. Spurs Gupta. That is again a good book. You can just go through the uh, synopsis part or the summary part of the initial chapters that would be giving you a good boost in your confidence and those specific medical subjects. Now remember one thing, the repeats and their explanations are the key to success, but revision is the master key to success. Also focus on your study and mental balance. Like if you are getting too much stressed, it is of no use to getting over stressed and preparing it as it won't be uh, giving you a fruitful results whatever you are expecting so what you can do is take out some time for yoga meditation or some refreshments apart from that try to take regular tests they may be either mock tests or subject wise tests do not uh, stack the tests for later purpose whenever you are stacking them or uh, just keeping it for the future purpose it would be uh, overburdening you in the later uh, stages of your preparation so try to give them in uh, specific stages of your preparation also we at aspire mds we are regularly keeping the mock test you can take the mock test and get your overall uh, all over india ranks and see the status of your preparation amongst various competitors who are preparing in india the last but not the least stay focused on your preparation Try to read as much as possible and give your best shot during the internship because the first attempt is always the best attempt. Even if you fail to, uh, by any chance, fail to get into the first attempt, try to be 
focused in the very next attempt and crack your goal that is achieving a rank in NEET PG entrance exams.